A heart rate strap like this is probably one of the very first things you brought when you first started tracking your fitness. Now, as you're learning more, you're starting to realize just how valuable these sort of tools are. And you're watching this video because you want to know what the best on the market is. Well, I can tell you it is one of these two, either the Wahoo Ticker or the Polar H10. Let's get next door and I'll tell you more about it. <laughs> okay, let's sit down and have a chat. Now, for those of you familiar with the channel, you'll know that you're much more likely to find us talking about things like this, the Moxie muscle oxygen sensors, the VO2 master gas analysis, even power meters, Garmin's, that sort of thing. But the question I get asked more than anything else is actually about heart rate monitors. And I get it because this is the sort of equipment that you're probably more likely to buy yourself. This equipment is still very much used by studios like us. Now, the reason I've chosen these two is because until recently, my advice would probably be just buy whatever you can afford that will connect to whatever it is you need it to connect to. Now, <laughs> that sounds a bit patronizing, but in all honesty, there wasn't an awful lot we had to worry about so long as it was displaying the heart rate fairly accurately on whatever piece of software we wanted to use. So Sufferfest or Zwift or a Garmin or a Wahoo, whatever it was. And so long as it was transmitting an amp plus or a Bluetooth signal, that was fine. Um, and there was all sorts of discounts and availability and reviews online. You really didn't need someone like me telling you what to buy. That's all changed fairly recently because the heart rate strap, the humble heart rate strap, which for ages has been sort of forgotten about in preference of all this new tech, has now had a new resurgence. And it's actually becoming an incredibly useful and vital tool for the self-coached athlete. Now, I know that there are other really good heart rate straps out there, but I have fo I've focused on the Wahoo Ticker and the Polar H10 because they offer not just dual band, but dual Bluetooth, come on to that in a second. But also, in my experience, they are reliable, they're easy to wash and clean, easy to change the battery, the after sales is really good, and I'd be really happy to recommend either one of these two in this video right now. But the overall winner of this is the Polar H10. In reality, the Wahoo ticker doesn't even get a look in. If you're in the market for a heart rate monitor of this sort of price range, then the Polar H10 is where you need to be. Let me explain why. First of all, that dual Bluetooth is super important and it's got to be reliable. First of all, it's got Ant Plus, that's great. If you go to a facility like ours or anywhere else, the Ant Plus will connect up super easy. The dual Bluetooth really comes into its own is when you want to connect it to multiple devices at the same time. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, you want to be looking at your heart rate in real time as you train on something like Zwift or Exa, Sufferfest, whatever it is. But if you've got a heart rate strap like this, you'll also be wanting to record the much more detailed heart rate variability data on something like an iPhone app where you can then review that data later, send it on to a coach and get much deeper insights as to how your body is responding to training. Now, heart rate variability. Yep, that is where the humble heart rate strap is now coming back to the fore again. The heart rate variability is not just looking at your heart rate, but it's actually looking at the gap in between those heart rates and how much they vary. And there's two things that we're really most interested in at the moment. There's lots of stats out there, but there's two things which are really getting talked about a lot. Now, the first one is the, the general heart rate variability index, and athletes are now using that to see if their body is in a fit state to train that day um, hard or not. And it's a day-to-day -day look at your freshness, if you like, and your preparedness to train. The other thing, which is still in very early days, but has got some very compelling evidence and has very recently just become the point where it's becoming usable on the commercial basis, is the idea of DFA Alpha 1. That stands for Detrended Fluctuation Analysis Alpha 1. Now, that is looking at not just the rise and the fall, it's time to take those trends of the rise and the fall out and look at the fluctuation between those heart rate beats 
and at alpha 1 at 0.75 there's some compelling evidence to say that that is very very close to your aerobic capacity tie that in with what we're doing now with polarized training where 80% of our training is very easy at that aerobic capacity we potentially now have a very cost effective way of live measuring your aerobic capacity now it is early days yet the ways of tracking this is only just coming out but right now there is a new app on your available for garmin that will track your dfa alpha one which is opening up a whole new avenue for coaches like myself to help athletes stay in that aerobic capacity training zone and on top of that we can now use apps like the ecg recorder the h10 so this can go in your back pocket while you're riding and record separate ECG data that we can then review afterwards. So not only are we getting that heart rate variability, we're actually getting good quality ECG information that then we can review. Now, there are many of you that would find these sort of features really, really useful, I'm sure. And if you're watching this video thinking, yeah, I'm in the market for a new heart rate monitor and one of these two was on my list, this is the one to choose for all of those reasons. Now, if you want to know more about how you use this sort of equipment, then please subscribe to the channel and look back past some of our past videos. The channel is really about helping the self-coached athlete use equipment like this and software to really make intelligent decisions about your training. Right, until the next time, take it easy.